What is up guys, this is Linthio, coming at you with a discussion today about Patrick Hoban, yes. The guy who everyone likes to talk about, and the guy who likes to be spoken about, let's face it. So, the whole new controversy around him is with siding out Dijin, the releaser. And it's a interesting one because he's got the community kind of split a little bit. Um, as to what really is the ethical standpoint on something like this. But if you don't know what I'm actually on about, I'll tell you about it now. So the past event that he was at, he basically mained one Dijim Releaser. And that card is, you know, when it's used as a ritual summon, uh, your opponent can't special summon while the monster's on the field. So against the mirror, it's pretty, pretty painful to go up against that because there's not actually much you can do if there's a Colossus in face-up defense position and that's the one that he's used it on. Nevertheless, in mirror matches, when he was playing someone that also had the Dijin lock in the deck, he said, let's side out the Dijin lock because, you know, a lot of players might think it is a bit of a degenerate move and it's really unfair because a lot of the time your opponent can't actually do anything unless they have some form of monster destruction and even then, the cloth players have something to prevent that. But what he would actually do is technically he would side out his one Dijin releaser but in his side, he has another Jijin releaser that he sides in. So technically, he's taking out his main deck releaser that he has. The opponent would do the same. But then in game two and three, he would have the advantage of saying, well, here's the Dijin lock. Now you can't do the Dijin lock if you go first. It means that he can happily go second if he has lost it, for example, or whatever. And he can perform the Dijin lock because a lot of the times, if, for example, Patrick Urban won, they went into game two and the opponent thought he hasn't got any Dijin releases in the deck, so therefore I'm not going to be locked down first turn. You can go first because the extra card is very important for the cloths and it means that they can function a lot more. But what actually ends up happening is Patrick Urban will Dijin lock them game two first turn and that's basically a wrap. So it's very unfair, but I'll just say something that Patrick Obama actually posted on his Facebook. I'll put it up here. So this is what he said. I didn't even lie to my opponents. I asked to side out a Dijin, and I sided out a Dijin. If I had lied and didn't use a second copy, I'm not even sure that's cheating. The contents of my deck are not public knowledge. Where's the line between that and don't attack, I have a mirror force. Lying to your opponent to give yourself an edge is perfectly acceptable there. The fact that I did side out a Dijin and didn't even lie doesn't really even give room for a debate on cheating or ethics. So the one example that he uses is the mirror force thing. And just to give you a quick example, if you have a few set cards or maybe one set cards and your opponent has a full board, they want to attack for game, you say, well, I have mirror force, so you know. But those two examples in my opinion don't sit right with me because there is a complete difference between leaving your opponent a active decision there and then to say okay well he's saying that he has a mirror force I don't think he has so I'm going to attack and if there is or isn't then it's down to those consequences when you make a gentleman slash mutual agreement to say hey let's side out a Dijin, it's kind of unfair to then completely smokescreen your opponent because you're putting it back in. There are always two sides to the argument. You can say, well, the opponent's stupid for actually doing it because at the end of the day, you are playing a competitive game and you want to win. So therefore, if you have a very strong play that can stop your opponent, why would you want to side it out? But then there are others to say that this is all about sportsmanship and this is all about kind of etiquette in the game. And what you're essentially doing is giving yourself a guaranteed one-up on your opponent because they probably really don't expect it. Nine times out of ten, if someone says, hey, do you want to do this as a mutual agreement? They're probably going to do it and they're probably not going to expect you to actually go back on your word and say, hey, well, you know, I actually didn't. What Patrick Hoban is saying is on technical grounds, he did side out a Dijim Releaser. And while that is technically true, you have basically just gone back on your word to say, let's side it out. It's a play on words and it's a little bit disgusting in my opinion because if someone's that desperate to pull the wool over someone's eyes, it's a little bit sad. Now at the end of the day, this is just a card game and you can take that on different levels, but personally, it just doesn't sit right with me to do that. I would never do that because it just doesn't, as I said, it just goes against kind of the ethics that I live by. I don't like using a crafty way of wording something that I've said to pull one over on my opponent. The whole thing kind of just leaves a little bit of bad taste in my mouth. And I'm not salty about the whole thing, as you might say. I just think that it does show someone's true colours when they're that 
desperate to win a card game. Because at the end of the day, the guy is a very good duelist, and I just don't think he needs to really give himself this negative persona that he's now putting up. If he had put his hands up and said, yeah, okay, I did a bad, I, you know, kind of did pull the wall over my opponent's eyes, I did deceive them, then okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. But the fact that he's defending it, and so defending it so heavily, that it just makes me think, just, why would you do that? So it's all down to kind of ethics, and a lot of people have been asking, isn't that against the rules? Well, technically, no. He, by the rule book, by the official Konami rule book, he has done nothing wrong. Because it's all about sportsmanship, and if you look to other sports, like football, for example, diving in football is something that is frowned upon, and it is technically against the rules, but people still do it to try and get one up on their opponents and to deceive people but it doesn't make it better, it's really looked down on. You get a yellow card in football, which means that you're halfway to being sent off, and it just isn't right, in my opinion. Now, it's just something that I think is gonna happen a lot more now, just because someone's done it, and someone quite famous has done it, and they've got away with it. My advice to people who say, hey, do you wanna side out the gin lock, because you know, we wanna have a fair game? I would say be very careful, because at the end of the day, you don't know how shady they are, they don't know what ethics that those that person might go by, and you don't know how much of a quote-unquote honest player they are, because at the end of the day, you don't know who they are. So, it's a very difficult grey area that is never gonna really go away, and it's always gonna be there, to be honest, because we always have those types of people in the game who really want to take advantage of a certain situation, and will do everything they can to actually take advantage of it. So I wanna know what you guys think on the actual debate. Now, it's gonna be a very interesting one and people are gonna have very differing opinions. Some are gonna be very, very blase about it. Some people are gonna be very angrily pro and hate. It's completely down to how you guys, so please do have a little bit of respect for everyone down in the comments. You can abuse me all you want with how my opinions are on this matter. I do not mind, but please, don't abuse people in the comments, it's not very nice, and I don't want my subscribers to be abused. So that is it guys, as I said, let me know down in the comment section below, have a fun and enjoyable debate, like, comment, subscribe, and I should catch you guys later.